Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Weston Racing. And in today's video, we're going to be checking out the 2022 Hot Wheels Stars and Stripes series. I don't know why I took that off screen. That's actually the car we're starting with. Yeah, I'll just put it back on screen. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, hello everybody. Welcome back to Weston Racing. You know, I've been recovering after that last video. It one really, that one really hurt me deep down. Like that editing wise from the editor, I just got a bunch of crap of how painful that was to edit. And then on top of that, recording it was a pain in the rear end to do as well. But don't worry. I've got a plan for the next one because yes, as ridiculous as it may sound, I do have a second one of those Constructobot thingies that you will actually get to see. Well, I'll tell you one at the end of the video. Anyway, today we are looking at eight Hot Wheels cars that are in the Hot Wheels Stars and Stripes series. As you may remember, I have done a video like this before. However, there were 10 cars in that video. So this one's going to be a little bit shorter than that. Plus it was back when I didn't have my perfect, you know, recording setup that I do now. So, yes, um, just to clarify a couple things before we get into the first one here. Yes, I am going to try and use acetone to remove these. Second thing involving that is that I actually figured out how to use the acetone to remove the blister without screwing up the card. Turns out, you know, I was just being gracious with it. I used a small brush and I was, you know, lightly dabbing it on there, getting it nice and soaked until, you know, I can pull the, car, pull the blister off. No, apparently what you're supposed to do is get a big brush and just slather the acetone on there, and then the blister will just slide off on its own, apparently, using the magical force of Newtonian gravity, I guess. You know, physics. Anyway, the third thing, yes, these Stars and Stripes actually continued the famous thing that every single Stars and Stripes series does. At the end of the video, I will take all of the card backs and tape them together to form a banner. If you may remember in the last video, those cars actually did that. This one's going to do the same thing, but the, the basically the little flag that it creates isn't really an American flag. It's a little bit different. You guys will see it. So yeah, that's it. Basically, that's the basics of the video. We're going to get right into it. I got eight cars that we're looking at today, and this is the first one, the 1965 Ford Ranchero. Let's get this thing out of the blister. If you don't know how to do that acetone, hit that subscribe button. Let's go. All right, look, it's not the most perfect thing in the world, but it actually turned out really good. Look at that. I actually managed to get a pretty good uh, slather on there. That is not the word I want to use. Anyway, Ford Ranchero. I am a huge fan of Rancheros, which is hilarious to most people because most people find these things ugly, just incredibly ugly. I don't. I really like them. The El Camino, the SSR, the Dodge Ute, I love all of them. They are all hilarious looking to me. But anyway, let's get into this thing. We're going to take a look at the Ford Ranchero here. On this side, we got a blue stripe going down the, the uh, top of the side. And as you can see, underneath that blue stripe are some red lightning bolts, which look really cool. Of course, you got a star towards the back end right there. And right below that is a blue Hot Wheels logo. The tires we're looking at today are black with silver rims, which looks super duper cool. On this side, we've got the exact same thing, only mirrored, so we're not going to talk too much about it. However, I did now just notice that there's actually a red trim that sort of runs the border here, which is a cool little detail to have as well. Looking at the top of the vehicle, we can see that there is some paint damage on the top there. That's just my personal copy. That does not come with all of them. So yeah, clear top. On the back, you can see that we do have a tonneau cover or just a bed cover right there. It is black and it does have a white trim, which looks pretty cool. The hood is really interesting because if you look, we got the lightning bolts here, which looks super duper cool. The exposed engine with the eight headers, which are absolutely amazing, as well as the blue piece here with the stars on it, which if I am counting here, oh God, I'm, I just got home from school. This is not the time to do math. We got 22 stars there, 22, five, five, four, 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 12, 10. Yeah, 22. Okay. I really had to double check the math. Here's the front end. Looks super duper neat. Here's the back end. No detail on the back end, but you do got the headlight molding. And here is the underside of the car. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There is the 1965 Ford Ranchero.
Moving swiftly along, we get on to car number two of eight. This is the 1967 Pontiac GTO. Okay, I really didn't succeed with this one, and the reason why is because I upgraded my brush. Like I went from the smallest brush I was, or I went from the small brush that I was using, upgraded to the giant one that I had, and that started working insanely well. But then I got these two pieces, the this side and this bottom part, unstuck, and then they restuck back to the package. And then I, yeah, that was terrible. Anyway, here we go. Two of eight, the Pontiac GTO. This thing is a beauty. Look at it. So on the side, of course, you can see 76 there, which, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for being such an idiot in the last uh, Stars and Stripes video. I said, huh, number 76, that's interesting. I wonder what the significance of that is. I even made a joke about the gas station called 76. Only until after recording that video and uploading it did I realize how big of a moron I was. The reason why there's a 76 on this vehicle is because that was the last two digits of the year in which America got its independence. You know, not an important date or anything. Probably, you know, the only fitting reason why this number would be on here. I mean, it's just a hunch, but, you know, maybe maybe I'm right. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, looking at this car... It is a nice shade of gray. I love the gray color on this. It fits it so well. And of course, on the side, you can see that we have the stars and the stripes. The whole thing right here. Oh, there's a black Hot Wheels logo in the back. Also up front, if we look, we can see that it does say GTO and Goodyear on that little sticker there, which is pretty cool. This side is exactly the same. Nothing too crazy. Also, these tires are black with gold rims, which looks pretty cool. The top of the car features all of these stripes on two sides going all the way down as well as these uh, stars up here as well and that nose hood scoop there also you can see the windshield wipers which is pretty cool again good year on the uh little fender flares there here's the front end you gotta love a gto front end with the lights there i love the headlights the way they're placed on these things here is the back end with the eight total tail lights that is awesome so yeah, there you go. Oops, I almost forgot, guys. I told you one of these days I'm going to make it through a whole video without forgetting to show the bottom of the car. So yeah, there you go. There is the Pontiac GTO. And if you're quick enough, you might even be able to see my face on the bottom of the car. All right. There is that one. So now that you've seen the turntable, you may have caught this, but there's actually gold paint on the tire, on one of the front tires here. Let's see if I can back up. Yeah, you see that? There's actually paint from the rim on the tire on that one. That is a weird thing that I just noticed. Alrighty, next up, car number three of eight is the 1971 Dodge Challenger. All right, here we go with this one. This one's pretty cool. I'm more of a fan of the newer Challengers, but you know what? The old ones are pretty cool, too. I'm like that with a few vehicles. I like the newer ones more than the older ones. Challenger is definitely one of them. I don't know. The older Chargers are pretty cool, but as someone who owns a Charger, it's hard to say that I don't love the new ones because pretty cool. Anyway, this one is awesome. First off, the color. The color, I feel, is worth pointing out here because this shade of blue is... I can't even capture this on camera. It's not even like a normal shade of dark blue. This is like a rusty blue, which again, my camera can't even pick that up. So I'm sorry for all of you who are seeing this on YouTube. Well, if you're not seeing it on YouTube, how else are you seeing it, I guess? But yeah, this is a very interesting shade of blue that my camera just can't pick up. So as you can see here, we got the stars. And we've got these stripes right here as well, which is super duper cool. It says Dodge back here. And if we zoom in, of course, you can see the red Hot Wheels logo and the Challenger logo, which is awesome. For tires, we have the black tires with gold rims again. Different rims this time. And on this side, we have everything that the other side had. So no change. If we look up top, we've got the stars going down the center. And then around it, we have the trim made of the stripes. And the hood scoop is a plastic red 
If you look up front, you can see the grill and everything that the detail that every charger is known for is that front end. And there's the epic back end as well with the tailpipes and the spoiler. There's the bottom of the Challenger in all of its glory. You can try and read that if you want. Pause the video. Yeah, there you go. There's the Dodge Challenger. This one is really cool. That one, this one might be in the running for my favorite. Okay, next up is car number four of eight, the 1984 Corvette. All right, guys, the quality of the acetone jobs is just getting worse as time goes on. Um, the, the end banner is still going to look cool, but I'm not really enjoying how well the acetone is coming out. But anyway, here's the Corvette. This one looks vaguely, like this one looks almost relatively similar to the Mercury Cougar we looked at last time. Conveniently, when it came to shelving, the Mercury Cougar that I was talking about was literally right in front of my face, so I didn't even have to miss it. But here was the Mercury Cougar from the last video we did. As you can see, these two do look pretty similar. Like, they have almost roughly the same colors. And you know what? They do have different paint schemes. This one actually kind of gives me baseball vibes now that I think about it, which, you know, that's pretty American if you really want to get into it. But yeah, so here's the Corvette. This one is pretty cool to look at. Simply because it, again, it features the 76 on the side, which is, of course, the year of America's independence and a Hot Wheels logo. But it's also got these stars and these stripes. What I'm going to point out to you that I like so much about this car isn't the paint scheme. It's actually the casting itself, because the casting is a really unique one. And the car itself in real life is also really unique. Also black tires with gold rims. This side is exactly the same. Now, what I want to get at with this Corvette is look at the top of this car. This is all glass right this would all be glass on the real car this is the frame this frame right here is holding in this and this which are all glass and just smaller frame pieces and then the back end is also pretty iconic but we'll get to that when we actually get to that so the top of the car actually makes an american flag shape got the stars and the stripes in the l pattern which is really cool as well as the 76. here's the front with them pop-up headlights and the corvette logo Here's the back with the four taillights that everybody knows and loves. And there's the bottom. So there you go. There's your 84 Corvette. Now, I won't lie, this next one kind of gives me vibes of the uh, Plymouth that we looked at in the last video. But this next one here, ladies and gentlemen, number five of eight is the 1984 Pontiac Firebird. All right. I've actually covered this exact casting of car before on the channel. I think it was during a spring collection. Look at this uh, Firebird. This is the one with the uh, the doors that have the lights on or the, the sunroofs. Yeah, let's take a look at this thing. That is beautiful with the stars going down the side. We got the blue stripe heading down with the three red stripes. That looks awesome. Love all the little stars. That's actually really cool. We got the Hot Wheels logo on back as well. And then that, if you look right there, Trans Am. Oh, yeah, the little details are what matters. The tires are black with white rims, which looks actually pretty good. I won't lie. If you look at this side, it's pretty much the exact same thing. No extra detail. And the front fenders actually kind of look pretty barren. The top of the car has some stripes going across. And as you can see, like I said, the two sunrooms, one over each seat, which looks pretty cool. The front end is covered, or the hood is covered in stars, which looks really cool with the blue stripes that actually lead down onto the sides. And then, of course, you've also got five red stripes going up here as well that do not line up with these. I don't know what that's all about. If we look at the front end, you can see the Firebird logo there. In all of its glory, I do want to zoom in on that because that's pretty cool. That is awesome. Love that little detail. And the back end has nothing on it. Here's the bottom of the car. Look at that. So yeah, we've got a lot of Pontiacs in today's episode. I thought that was really interesting, but uh, no, nah, I know that'll make my grandpa happy. He's really He really likes Firebirds.
Now, I know for all of those people who like newer vehicles, yes, we see you in your psych ward hospital beds. Here we have one for you. Number six of eight, the 2018 Ford Mustang GT. I wonder why people don't like watching my videos. Okay, I take back everything I said about the new car people because look at this. Look at that. It is almost perfect. Oh my God, I nailed that one. That one's amazing. Are these sticking? Okay, good. I was like, are the glue from these re-hardening? Because I have them all in like a stack. I was curious if the glue was re-hardening <laughs> and sticking the cards together. That would have made me a little upset, not gonna lie. Yeah, what are we looking at? Ford Mustang GT, yeah. Okay, so we have a 2018 Ford Mustang GT here. This looks almost like a NASCAR, you know, Mustang NASCAR. Uh, the color of blue on this, might I say, is absolutely brilliant. I love this color. Uh, my camera is picking up this one pretty well. I won't lie about that. Um, now, let's get into it. So we got some jagged stripes here, which look really cool. I love the design of the stripes. And you got the stars here with the Hot Wheels logo. Cool little detail here is if you look, the back tire is black with red rims. And the front tire is black with white rims. So we got a little bit of a difference there, which is really cool. This side looks exactly the same as the other side. Literally no difference. You got the jagged stripes with the stars, Hot Wheels logo, and the two different colored rims on the tires. The top is also kind of, I think it's a continuation of the, of the, uh, of this side, not the other side, this side. Eh, maybe not. I don't think so. But if you look on the top, you got the jagged stripes going across two different sides, as well as the stars going right down the middle of the car, which looks super duper cool at an angle, of course, not directly down the middle. If you look at the front end, you can see that super duper cool Mustang style grill there. If you look real closely, if I can get the light on it just right, you should be able to see the Mustang logo in there. Yep, right there. You can kind of see the Mustang logo. Right there. Oh, yeah, that's cool. And then the back end, of course, maybe I should just zoom in for like everything so you guys can see all the detail. And the back end, of course, has the triple tail lights. Like, yeah, maybe I should just do this from now on. Let me know in the comments down below. Should I just review all the cars fully zoomed in so you guys can see all the detail up close? I don't know if I like, I, I, honestly, I don't know if I like that or not. You're going to have to let me know in the comments. We got the 2018 Ford Mustang GT here. Here's the bottom of the car and everything. That front end does not move like how I thought it would, like an Xperia Motors car, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Here you go, here you go, new car people. This one's for you. And yes, all the truck people who were complaining as well, this next one is for you because everybody knows a Ranchero is not a real truck. So for you, we have a custom 1956 Ford truck. Arguably, this one might be my favorite one in this entire case. I got excited over this one because I thought I'd nailed it. But if you look, there is a little bit of a piece there. It isn't too noticeable, but still, it's really sad I didn't get the perfect one. These, I don't know, the, these last couple of ones turned out really good, though. I am happy. I'm really, really happy that I figured out the whole acetone thing. That makes me really excited. Also, this truck is amazing. <laughs> Here it is up close, the Ford, custom Ford truck. Look at this. This thing is amazing with the candy apple red. If you look, the fenders have some white and red stripes on them, as well as the door. And the door panel also has what looks almost like a text box and a cartoon, you know what I mean? Or like a comic book in blue with the stri with the stars. All the stars are in different shapes. We got the Hot Wheels logo as well. And if you look, we got black tires with silver rims, which looks absolutely amazing. Taking a look at this side is the exact same thing. We don't need to talk too much about that. But the back end is where things get really exciting because if you look, the axle is exposed with the differential and everything. That is super duper cool. You can see it all. That is crazy. Looking at the top, I'm going to combine both the top and the hood here because they kind of do rely on each other. You got the stripes here that actually go up onto the top of the car. And as well with that, you've got the blue with the stars also leads onto the top of the car as well, which is really, really cool. I love that. The continuation thing is amazing. Also, that hood scoop is really cool. 
Here's that front end. Gotta love that front end. That looks amazing. Here is the back end. I really wish it said Ford on the tailgate. That would be really cool, but it doesn't. And here is the bottom. The bottom is like a purplish color, which is a really strange choice. But yeah, I am in love with this truck. This truck is absolutely amazing. I Like I said, this one is definitely in the running for favorite, for my favorite of these. That truck is beautiful. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you did it. You suffered through another Weston Racing Hot Wheels Wednesday video. And to end it off, we're going to end things off. Oop, uh, double. <laughs> we're going to end things off with the only custom concept car in this entire case of vehicles. Now, last video I did with the Hot Wheels uh, Stars and Stripes, with the Hot Wheels Stars and Stripes video, the last one that I did of these, uh, there were 10 real life cars. This one's interesting because not only does it have less cars, eight of eight, but one of them, not all of them, right, are real life cars. One of them is a custom concept cars by Hot Wheels. And it's this one here, which is 8 of 8, the muscle speeder. You know, I thought we were going to end this off with a perfect one, and it did not end up that way. This one did not turn out perfect, as you can see. But you know what? Whatever. Like I said, the picture should still turn out just fine. But here it is, the muscle speeder. This thing is sleek. Taking a look at the side, we've got a bright red as the base color. But if you look on the side, you can see some stripes here and, of course, these stars here. However, the bodywork of this car kind of messes up the paint scheme, and I really don't like that. I really wish they would have maybe painted into the bodywork. That would have been cool. The tires are black with gold rims, and it's got these spiky spiker rims, I think is what I call those. I don't remember what they call them. I really like these rims, by the way. Hot Wheels, these rims are cool. Um, this side is exactly the same. Nothing really to see. Once again, just no, it's just a paint scheme, nothing too crazy. The top is pretty cool, though, because the Hot Wheels logo is not only on the top here. But if you look, you can see the stripes. And then, of course, it's got the blue going all the way across with the stars. And you can see the giant engine. This is why it's called the Muscle Speeder. Look at the engine inside of that thing. It is huge. Here's the front end. Flip it around. Here is the back end. And then, of course, ladies and gentlemen, as I always do, the bottom of the car. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you heard it here first. I went through an entire video and I didn't miss the bottom of a single car. I think that is a first for me. Maybe not. I think I did. I think I didn't miss any in the demolition derby video. Anyway, here's the turntable for the muscle speeder. Let's get to the end of this video. Here you go, ladies and gentlemen. I kind of want to get a better angle of these. Maybe it's just the way I have them set up. If we go like that, and then, oh yeah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. And my camera's crooked, yay. Okay, there we go. Perfect, nobody sneeze. You sneeze, didn't you? Anyway, so it is the end of the video now, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this one. Again, the Stars and Stripes cars are one of my favorite series, tape tape. I did not grab a tape dispenser. Um, hold on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I figured out my problem and I got it all fixed up with tape and thumbtacks and a couple of pieces of cardboard. I managed to piece it all together. What did I piece together, you may ask? The card backs, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, as you all know, the card backs do form a picture. And as you can see, this is the one that they did for 2022, which I won't lie. I really like this one because it lines up so much better than this one did. Like, as you can see, this one from 2020 really didn't line up all that well. It took a lot of finagling to get these to sit correctly. Man, I was so bad with the acetone before. But this one, this one sits really well. I don't like the fact that the card hooks are in the picture because it kind of takes away and you got those chunks of wall in there, which really don't look all that good. This one, however, does not. Maybe that's why these are so wonky is because they tried to get rid of the card hooks. But yeah, here's the picture that's created when you put them all together. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, all eight of the Stars and Stripes cars for Hot Wheels 2022's season. 
they do stars and stripes every two years so 2024 is when we'll get the next stars and stripes series if i had to pick some cars that i would hope to see in there definitely i'd have to say the cruise bruiser just because cruise bruiser is always my favorite hot wheels car um honest to god demolition derby is such a famous motorsport here in america i'm surprised that the cruise bruiser hasn't had a run in stars and stripes yet but yeah that'd be a cool one to see i don't think they've done a stars and stripes bone shaker yet so that's kind of surprising to me oh and probably like a third choice that i would really really want to see just because the car would look really cool and it's a super strange one i know to say this but i want to kind of see a purple passion with the uh, Stars and Stripes. I think that would look pretty neat if they could do something with that. Maybe they already have. I don't know off the top of my head. I really, like, they've done four Stars and Stripes series. I've seen two of them. And I've seen a couple, car, couple cars from the other two that I haven't really looked into. So honestly, I don't know. But anyway, yeah. Here you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Stars and Stripes series for 2022. My name is David Weston. You've been watching Weston Racing. And you know what? I'm going to sign out before I lose my marbles again. The good thing that these videos, these little Hot Wheels videos, didn't drive me to insanity like that last video did. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, which is coming out this Friday. And guess what? It is another one of those Constructobots. So I'll see you there. Peace.